I'm just going to address the, the slight bit of misinformation that went around this evening that the players uh, were not aware of what the last league offer was and that there was somehow being hid. Uh, we've Don just said, and I'll reiterate that, number one, every player is welcome in every meeting. Every player has the ability to get in touch with Don via phone, via email, get in touch with me, any member of the negotiating committee via phone, via email. And this notion that something was hidden over the past uh, 24, 48 hours is totally inaccurate. And we feel that that should put this issue to rest. And, uh, you know, obviously there aren't 30 owners in the room, there aren't 700 players. But we make sure everyone who wants to know exactly what's going on. We're taking calls at night. Divisional player reps are taking calls at night from players to make sure they know exactly what offers are going in, coming in, going out. And, you know, the possibility exists that all 30 owners don't know that the players have offered $948 million to get the season started as soon as possible. And that's the reality. Do you feel that the assertion that there is a lack of communication is sort of an attempt, a deliberate attempt to divide, you know, the union? I don't assume. How disconcerting is it that someone leaked out the letter when it wasn't supposed to obviously be? You know, uh, I don't know if disconcerting is the word. Uh, you know, it was a memo to summarize as quick as possible for players. And at the end of that memo, I believe it says, if you would like exact details on the offer, call us, email us. You know how to get a hold of Don. Again, myself, Steve Fair, or your divisional player rep who we have in the office making calls right now. I think you've sat in on almost every meeting that I can remember. Is today a, a pretty disappointing day after, you know, the week that I, you... I wouldn't characterize it. You wouldn't characterize it in any way? Or... No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.